my light cream, I want to put some more butter. I want to just put another four tablespoons of butter so the rest of the stick goes into your light cream. I'm going to hit this with a little salt. And a little bit of pepper goes in here. So we're going to season our light cream and our butter before we put the mashed potatoes in here. And by the way, I have those frozen mashed potatoes in the bag that you stick in the microwave. Those are my favorite. And they're going in here. Yeah, those are my favorite because she doesn't have to peel <laughs> potatoes. Cut them up. Actually, my kids don't have to. <laughs> OK. Now, thyme. I'm going to put fresh thyme in to my cream as well. Now, coming up. Welcome back to Semi Homemade. I'm Sandra Lee, and happy Thanksgiving. I've got a great trick for you for mashed potatoes. And these, of course, are going to become my wonderful peppered goat cheese mashed potatoes. I already have my herb and pear glazed turkey going in the oven. I'm going to get my stuffing in there, my three bread stuffing in there in just a second. But first, let's start these potatoes. In the microwave, they go for just a couple minutes. These are 10 minutes and they're steaming hot. Look at that. This is the best trick in the grocery store. Beautiful, white, fluffy potatoes. Let's see how they are. Perfect. Now, in my pot, remember, I had two cups of light cream going in there, four tablespoons of butter, and a whole bunch of thyme. The trick here is to strain this so that you get all the pieces of thyme out of there because we put the stems in and the whole nine yards. So we'll try half of this first. And before I put in anything else, I want to put in some goat cheese. Now this is three pepper goat cheese. It's got all sorts of beautiful peppercorn, red, green, black. So I'm cutting thick medallions. Leave it set out to room temperature. That'll make your life a lot easier this Thanksgiving. Makes it creamy, decadent, delicious. And no one is going to know that you didn't peel potatoes for hours to make these. And that is good enough. I like them a bit lumpy. If you want them really smooth, get out the hand mixer. I like some texture in mine. You're going to be in good shape. Plastic wrap over the top. You want to keep it warm. Let's Got my mashed potatoes all done. Serving that alongside with it. 